This is a theatre called the Arcadia in Lowestoft. And about 15 years ago, I was here in repertory. I was what is called the juvenile lead. And I got here somewhere between five pounds, starting at five pounds, rising to about, I should think, about seven fifteen, seven pound fifteen, eight pounds. The plays we did here, you would never have heard of. They were written by anybody from anywhere. But we used to do quite good business. And I must say, it taught me a great deal about uh, theatre playing. And, but somehow or other, repertory seems to have died. And this place today is a bingo hall. Oh, yes, Why, so, number two. The first week I was here, I only had a small part, so I was, uh, I came on in a suit, did my part and went off. Second week, I had about four changes. So I went off and came on again, still in the same suit from last week, last week. <coughs> and I came on twice in the first act, still in the same suit. And Jackson Stanley came round and he said, why didn't you change in the last act? I said, into what? He said, well, different suit. He said, it's three weeks later and you're in town instead of in the country. He said, you're supposed to, you're supposed to change. And I said, well, I haven't got, I haven't got a suit. I said, I've only, I've only got one suit. It was here too, for me, a personal thing that I met the lady who was to become my ex-wife, eventually. And um, she was the leading lady. And as I was a juvenile lead, of course, one never spoke to the leading lady. There's a very definite caste system, especially if you were new. If you were new, it meant you couldn't act, no matter where you'd been before. And I'd already been in rep a year or so. But I could speak to the... Um, juvenile leading lady, whose name was Jean Marlowe. I was about the worst in the company, and I was jolly glad when Michael turned up, because he was even worse than me. One day, they had a party at her flat, and she shared this flat with the leading lady. And I went to this party, and I got talking to the leading lady, really, for the very first time. I'd been in the company three or four or five months never said a word to her except good morning. I got talking to her. Three weeks later, I was married to her in a registry office here. A few more weeks later, I decided I was uh, ready to conquer London and to take care of my financial responsibilities. So I went to London, fell flat on my face, didn't take care of my financial responsibilities. I was divorced three years later and out of work for 10 years.